it's time to make my big announcement and reveal what's going on in my life. In saying that, this video is not about my life. It is about my tool belt, but we'll get to that shortly. But I did say in the last video that I um, did have an announcement to make, which is quite exciting for me and might be exciting for you and the future videos you get to watch that I make if you enjoy my videos. Um, but anyhow, the news is this. Jade and I have finally left the chateau in northwest France where we've been for the last 14 months since the start of last year and we've moved down to the south of France in Provence. So that's our news. So we definitely felt it was time to bring our chateau chapter to a close. Really appreciated the opportunity I had there of living and working at the chateau and learning everything I was able to learn outside of carpentry from Steve, which was amazing. But yeah, it was definitely time to move on for us and um, yeah, come and come and try something new in the south of France. So it's very sunny here all the time to the tune of like 300 days per year. It means I can get back in shorts and I can try and get a tan again too. So. I think the pants are already away for the year, so amazing news. But just because I'm not living and working at a French chateau doesn't mean to say that I won't have some really cool uh, content for you guys. So uh, yeah, best just stick around and find out what is in store. Okay, so let's get into it. Today's video is this, my tool belt, or as some may call them, my nail bag. My one is made by Buckaroo in Australia, leather pouches, pouches are separate to the belt, are separate to the suspenders, so you've got to buy them all individually, fully customizable, there are multiple different styles of pouches you can buy and they pretty much just feed on around the actual belt itself the actual inside of the belt is like a soft felt layer that presses up against your body just for a bit of added comfort um, and there's all these extras you can buy and in saying that there's only so much you can fit on these so i have selected my pouches based on my needs and what I think I need to carry or what I know I carry um, from day to day. And I think these are essential for every efficient carpenter to have um, because they just allow you to have all the things that you use with you instead of putting them down somewhere. Next thing you don't know where they are and you're trying to find them. And yeah, it's just a very inefficient way to work. And if you know me, I like to be efficient. So, so there are countless companies making these nail bags all around the world. Different materials, different styles, different sizes, different weights, different levels of comfort. Um, so yeah, you've got to find what's right for you. This is an expensive investment, but a worthwhile one because they do allow you to be efficient. They are comfortable to wear because you are wearing them all day um, and they are important. Um, an important tool to get the job done as efficiently and um, accurately as possible, I think. So let's get into the uh, nitty gritty and all the details of what I carry, which is the purpose of this video, right? So first of all, I'm left-handed, tape in the right hand, pencil in the left. That's how I've set it up. Tape out, mark, boom, boom, done. So efficiency, see? Anyway, the tape, Stanley Fat Max, eight meter. In my opinion, the best tape money can buy. I've used a lot of tapes over the years and there is no better tape for, or no longer lasting tape than this. This has gone through a lot in the last over 12 months and it still retracts like it's brand new, so yeah. The other good thing about these tapes, which this is probably not the only one that has it, but it's got a rubber coating on the outside, which is great for rubbing out pencil marks on timber when you might make an error. So yeah, that's that. 
next to the tape thick texture because they're good to have a little French branded Opinel Opinel knife it's a second hand one but still very sharp I picked it up quite cheaply above that I have a glass cutter because I have a very long history in glass and windows so I feel a bit naked without a glass cutter then I've got a, a thin gauge long auger bit which I use quite often for pilot holes and things like that and then I have a little marking knife with some Japanese embossed text on there not sure what that means but these marking knives are um, very good for accurate cutting um, when you're marking and you just score the top of the your workpiece you're, you're working on and then when you cut through you kind of kind of don't get the tear out on the timber because you've already cut the top layer of the timber so very handy for that and very a very accurate tool as opposed to a pencil which is a lot thicker and when you're coming down to a thousandth of an inch or a millimeter these aren't as accurate as the marking knife i digress next pouch up we have some electrical tape just because it's good to have then i've got a corking tool it's like a rubberized four-sided tool with a 45 10 mil bead a 45 16 mil bead a 90 mil bead and a curved bead depending on what beautifully neat corking bead finish that you want to achieve so always good to have that as well then i have just plastic razor blades which are great for cleaning glass when you don't want to scratch glass so i have those and as an alternative to that i have some just some normal metal razor blades as well due to my long background in windows and glass i've got a carpenter's scribing tool which is another video altogether you might have seen one before but the basic principle of a scribing tool is if you've got say like here a stone wall and you want to butt a piece of timber up and follow the contour of the stone this is how you would do it so one part goes the, the pin goes along the actual stone where the contour is and then the pencil marks the timber um, to the same contour so when you cut it out with a jigsaw or however you do it, it just fits up against that um, stone beautifully so yeah that's the basic principle um, and then I like golf too so I carry some golf tees but that's not the real reason that I carry golf tees so sometimes in timber you need to plug up old holes so these are a great option for doing that just hammer them in snap them off and then you can re-drill right next to the old hole or in the old hole depending on if it's a smaller screw or whatever and you can get a nice strong fixing in there so that's why i carry golf tees next pocket up these gloves are high flex and they are well they're called high flex this particular pair are a bit uh covered in paint but they're still going um, and they're made by Ansel, who, who I think make condoms too, I think. Um, but yeah, these gloves are by far, in my opinion, the best gloves in the world. Um, they're flexible, they give you good dexterity, um, they're soft, and best of all, they can be washed. I don't think you can wash paint off them, but they can be washed. So not only that, they fold up nice and small, and you can just put them back in your nail bag. In that same pocket, carpenter any sandpaper nice and flat nice and light just goes in there always good to have a little bit of sandpaper in your bag so and then the speed square just sits in top i use a swanson speed square this is a seven inch one it's an industry leader from the usa really strong got embossed black letters in it and obviously have it in the opposite side to my pencil so i can pull it out i can mark square lines i can use it to mark angles cut roof rafters 
whatever I need. There is a hundred uses or more on this with this tool. And to be honest, it's another video in itself. So yeah, maybe we'll do one of those soon as well. Anyway, that side done onto this side. Um, pencil, as you've seen, another texter because I love texters. And then I have one of another most important tool is my 18 mil snap off blade Stanley knife with some spares next to that. This thing is just essential for me. Um, Milwaukee, this one. So that's that. Um, then this front pocket here, I just have screws or nails, whatever I'm using on that day. Behind that, a small pair of pliers, which I find I use a lot and it's a uh, essential part of what I need to carry. And then an old Stanley USA made um, chalk line, a chalk box. So I have some spare chalk in my carpenter's toolbox, which you might get to see soon as well, if you're lucky. So that's that. And then in the last pocket, I've got an aluminium one meter fold, folding rule. As you can see, it's got all these lovely brass kind of fittings in there as well. So this one's nice and strong. I have this as well, obviously, but sometimes these are good because they are a lot more accurate than the tape measure in that you can set them out on a sheet of plywood, as an example, from the edge of the workpiece and come in however far you need to come in and get a perfect mark. Whereas there can be a slight variation um, with the tape measure. And if you use your marking knife with it, it's 100% accurate all of the time. So yeah, so that's why I carry one of these. They're, they're good for certain things. Um, they, I could talk about it for a long time, but yeah, I'll keep going. Um, around the back, I have an aviation pouch for some tin snips, which I always carry. I used to work a lot with flashing aluminium, sheet metal, um, and yeah, cutting these by hand cutting those items by hand was always part of my job so I always found that having a pair of snips is good because these pretty much cut through anything and then behind that I have a 25 millimeter sharp chisel um, I also had a wrecking chisel which was more of a demolition sort of style chisel that got lost in the mail somewhere I think so I don't have that anymore but this one is okay and then I have a long stem flat blade screwdriver, which I find like the Stanley knife is pretty essential to what I need on a day-to-day -day basis. So they just sit in the back there above the hammer and then the hammer comes out of the back loop. This is a, an S-Wing 15 ounce hammer, straight claw and sits perfectly in my hand. It feels really balanced and yeah, I love this hammer, so I will confess. So to put it back in the pouch at the back, I just flip it and then flip it the other way and then I've got it at the base and I can just drop it straight in like that. And when you do it enough, it just becomes second nature. So yeah, that is that. And uh, last but not least, you may have seen me wearing earmuffs. So no one wants to get to 80 years old and be deaf, so protect your ears probably should protect my eyes more than I do I have some uh, eye protection there I just find these comfortable especially on cold days they suit my big ears and they suit my big head too so just bang those on flip them whatever I need to do so yeah just you can always even hang them on the back like that as well so yeah got those the uh, other thing I should mention is obviously I work a lot with power tools and a lot of the cordless tools have hooks on them and when you're up a ladder or something the nail bag is great to wear because you can actually hook it on the nail bag so they do sell specific hooks for tools like that but I don't have the room on mine firstly and secondly I can just hang it off here hang it off there or there and it does pretty much exactly the same job. 
and I know where it is at all times. Um, I try not to hang it off the bags all the time because it does weaken the joins and the seams, so I'd rather not break them if I had a choice. So I tend to just hang it here if I need to, or at the back there's, there's a couple of spots too. So yeah, I can, I can always do that. I think that just about covers everything I need to cover without dragging this on or boring you too much. Um, if you have any questions about any of the tools, um, leave a comment. Um, if you wanna know more about them, or whatever you want to ask me ask away far away i will get back to you so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next one go well so just one more thing before i let you go um this is my carpenter's toolbox and this is very messy at the moment i will say but um the reason i'm showing you is because this has a lot of small hand tools that can be used to swap out into my nail bag on a daily or weekly basis depending on what I'm working on and it is great to take to the job site with me because I can obviously have my nail bag on me but also have the toolbox in close proximity as well in case there's something else that I need clamps um, shifter there's file, files in there other, other chisels um, plaster rasps nips there's small hammers there's a lot of other stuff and eyewear too and chalk for the chalk box so anyway yes yeah, so i just thought i'd throw that in let me know if you would like to see a separate video on this but the truth is i'll probably do one anyway so yeah you heard it first here anyway bye for now guys